Miranda here and welcome to my monthly wrap for the month of October. Not November, October. I'm so getting confused between the two of them. I kind of did get a lot of reading done. I got a lot of reading done on the train to school and that's about it because, you know, during other times it's hard to read. So first off, the books that I read for the month of October and I darken. This is such a beautiful book. I love it so much and I love to thank Pam Wenner for sending it to me. I did do a review on that and I'll link it down below. Moon Chosen and I previously like the review for this just went up the other day so make sure to watch it. Moon Chosen this isn't the actual cover. I got an advanced reader's copy and people thought it was the actual cover and they're like oh it's really nice. I'm like no it's not the actual cover. Except um, this cover did get ruined a lot. Mari is an earthwalker. Her to the unique healing powers of her clan but she has come to Judy's side until she's chosen by a special animal ally, altering her destiny forever. It's really good and I'll leave my review on it down below. Next book was Whisper to Me, also reviewed. Um, this was a really good book but really long. In the middle I was just like, oh, I'm gonna hurry up a little bit. This book is written in the terms of this girl writing an apology to this boy and the whole thing is like her letter. Consider this the most screwed up love letter. Here are the things I need to say to you. I hear voices, I miss you. I wish I could take out what I did to you and forgive me. The next book that I love to talk about is Stealing Snow. This review hasn't been posted yet, okay. But I really want to do like a full on review with spoilers and everything talking about how fantastic and just <laughs> this book was. Basically it's about this girl called Snow. It's not Snow White, so don't get confused because at first I thought, oh is this like a spin off of Snow White? I'm like no. Snow is basically locked in a a psychiatric hospital. You know, she's locked away, she's been considered dangerous ever since this accident happened when she was little. In this hospital, she falls in love with this guy called Bale, and one night he's mysteriously taken in front of her, and then she gets these dreams with this weird boy that appears, and the boy's telling her to like escape and make her way past this tree. And basically, when she goes past the tree one day, when she escapes, she finds the world of Elgud, 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 Elgud. And people in this world have powers and there's all that stuff and it's like this war with the king and she's part of this land and you find out how and it's it's really awesome. Currently reading this year and also half loaves. This is an advanced copy so don't be fooled this isn't the real cover. Books that I hold between one month and the other. You probably all know I was going to go to Book Expo Australia and then Book Expo ended up getting cancelled. However the Sydney book bloggers ended up doing this like little meeting and we got to have this awesome lunch and there was one the Wiltshire there and there were some other authors and yeah it was just a really fantastic day. I was lucky enough to receive some books that day because um, I had giveaways and all that stuff. The vlog for that day is up on my channel if you want to check it out. The books I ended up receiving were these two and I'd like to thank the lovely Susan for giving them to me. Um, Susan is from Pantera Press. You probably know this series. The cover just got revealed for the third book as well. I'm not going to even say what it is because I think everyone knows and I'm so excited to receive these two books because I've been wanting to read them and everyone's been saying oh they're so amazing. With just one step, 16 year old Alexandra Jennings world changes literally. Reading her first day in a new school, Alex is stunned when she walks through a doorway and finds herself stranded in the door. A fantasy world of full of impossibilities. Desperate to return home, she learns that only one man named Professor Marcel can help her, but he's missing. While waiting for him to appear, Alex attends this academy, um, this boarding school for teenagers with extraordinary gear. She soon starts to enjoy her bizarre new world and the friends who embrace her as one of her own. Um, but strange things are happening. It's like Narnia. Sounds like Narnia to me. I was very excited because also on that day, um, I won this. Or not one of but I got this book um, and there's the YA fan for 16 and it's the um, new YA fiction from Alan Unwin and it's like little short stories all in this book which is very exciting and also got these really cool um, author swag things on that day bookmarks which I'll talk more about in my um, book haul which I have coming I also ended up seeing my lovely friend Macy and she made me this how awesome is this my own little books on her one thing. She's so cute and she did that. And then in here is a bunch of other swag. And I also ended up winning this t-shirt. Look at how it's in this book. That is a sneak peek actually for what's going to be coming in my book haul because I'm going to go through all the sheets of paper that I received and all the swag and all the loveliness. Apart from that this month I did also receive, you know, Stealing Snow and I received Moon Chosen. And I also received this book, White Wings. This is by my friend Cassie actually. So receiving this I knew she was writing something so now that I actually have it here it's pretty awesome to be holding like a physical copy of your friend's book. The first time the problem with my abilities really started popping up was my first year of primary school. All of us kids were on the playground and one boy came up to me and started pushing my friend around and calling her names. 
who was standing next to me at the time. The result was a boy shaped crater on the side of a plastic slide. Being a teenager in today's society is tough enough as it is. Keeping up with the trends, making sure you have enough time to eat schoolwork for social needs and extra activities on top. But things are even tougher for Alex Carter, a girl who, ha who not only has balance and all these needs, she also has to hide her identity away. She's half human, half angel, a guardian angel to be precise. This story follows the challenging life of Alexis as she climbs her way through the ladder of high school, along with friendship, hardships and many surprises waiting for her around the corner. As the time pans on, what will become of Alexis and her big secret? So I'll be reviewing this very shortly. Thank you so much, Casey, for sending it. Next are bookish videos that were uploaded between the last wrap up and this wrap up. I had my Sydney vlogs and they were there. But the next bookish video that I had up was a review on Dragonfly Song and Anai Jaffakan, which is the book here. So make sure to go check that out. It will be linked down below. I also ended up doing a Fallen movie stills discussion. Um, here I talked about all the Fallen stills that were coming out and it was part one because I'm definitely going to be doing a part two now that more movie stills are released. Like I'm so freaking excited that I need to talk about it more. My interview with Juliet M. Sampson that I ended up putting to the channel. Um, a lot of you people have entered the giveaway for that. Thank you so much. Um, it's so exciting to see. I also ended up posting my read a rama announcement. Um, that read of is happening from the 18th to the 20th of November and I'm very excited to be hosting it again with the girls. Recently I ended up posting my Moon Chosen review and Whisper to Me review and that will be linked down below as well. Books that I am reading next month. Well this is really interesting because um, kind of with the readathon happening I want to finish the Missy book and I really want to finish um, Heartless. Read Art Crowns for the readathon, Read of Rama and also this book which is Wildfire. So probably those four books I want to be diving into. Updates. Updates in terms of what is happening. Um, very soon I'm going to be posting my crowdfunding video for my documentary book Burbia. I'll talk more about it in a separate video but I am really excited to release that and I'm really excited to let you know what that is. Um, in terms of any other updates, I am going to be filming a couple of new videos this month so make sure to check a look out for the channel and I do have an interview also that I'll be posting about Chasing the Valley um, with Australian author Sky. Apart from that, I hope you have a great reading month. I'm Miranda, thank you so much for watching. Bye.